gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Jay and Will Show. I am Jay. And Will, what it do? What it do? So we're back again with another uh, NFL prediction. This is going to be for week three. Uh, just to do a, a quick uh, look back on last week, we tied, bro. Yeah, of course. Uh, 11 games apiece. <laughs> 11 games apiece. Um, we were only different on two games. On one of those games, you were right. Another one, I was right. And everything else was exactly the same. <laughs> so we we 11 and 11, and 11 on that one. So, again, you only up by one. Um, you have 17. I have – I'm sorry, you have 18 total right so far, and I have 17 total right so far. Yeah. So get used to it all year, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, so we will not waste our time, and let's go on and get into it. Yeah, so, uh, Thursday night game this week is going to be the Carolina Panthers visiting the one and one Houston Texans. How you got that one going? Obviously, you know, Houston's kind of banged up. So, yeah, uh, I got Carolina. Uh, it's going to be crazy. Carolina's going to be 3 0 and end up missing the playoffs. So, it's going to be a wild time. Yeah, this one's a tough one just because – well, not tough as far as who to pick, but just tough as far as, like, you know, Houston kind of hasn't looked bad in either of their games mm-hmm. that they mm-hmm. played. They, they played Cleveland real well last week. Uh, obviously, they lost to Rod Taylor with the groin injury. He's – they put him on the IR, so mm-hmm. he's out for at least three games, possibly four. Um, so they got the rookie Davis Mills starting for them um, on Thursday, and – that Panthers defense has been pretty pretty legit so far. Um, so I'm sure they'll have a field day going up against the rookie. You saying that? Come on, I'd, say, I'd say it's questionable because first week was the Jets. Uh, that's, and that's true. I'm trying to get it. And then last week was uh, the Saints without half their offensive coaching staff. Like they're missing what eight coaches or some craziness. Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, at least. So I mean, I will I give them some credit because you, you still got to play the people in front of you, and that's mm-hmm. exactly what they did. But still, it's like, nah, dude, nah. <laughs> so uh, we we're gonna see next week. Uh, we we'll, we'll, we'll talk yeah, about we'll next see. week. Uh, we'll see because <laughs> let me tell you something: if they can't get it done against the rookie quarterback. They, it's gonna be, it's gonna be ugly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they gotta get this one done. So yeah, like you also picked the Panthers to win this one. Uh, so moving into Sunday's games, we as always Sunday. start out with the uh, early games. Uh, so first one on the docket, we got the zero and two Indianapolis Colts. I say Indianapolis this time uh, against the Tennessee Titans, who are one and one. Um. I, ironically enough, no, I'm just kidding. I have uh, Titans winning that game. Um, What's crazy about this is the Colts going, and I'm, I agree, they're going uh, on three, but it's like, ooh, that's crazy. Like, and I still feel like they have a better chance to make the playoffs than 3 and 0 Carolina. I'm just going to put, I'm, I said that they did. <laughs> it's tough because. Like, they're going to already be down behind the Titans in game if, yeah. if they lose this game. And, you know. Wild card the only spot. Wild card is the only spot. And you got, like, whoever doesn't win the AFC North between um, the Broncos. I'm sorry, between the Browns and the Ravens. Like, you know, between those two teams. Because the Ravens look better than I thought they would, obviously, at this point. They're only one and one, but – they look better against the be the Chiefs. So yeah, they obviously if they can be the Chiefs, they can be anybody any given any given week. So you know, between them and the Browns, it's gonna be interesting to see who wins the division. But I would think that whoever doesn't win the division is gonna be in the wild card. So that's probably one wild card spot gone. And then you look at the uh, the uh, the AFC uh, East. It's gonna be one team going out of there. <laughs> but the AFC West might have to also because yeah. the Chargers could come out, the Raiders could come out. Yeah, they could have three. So yeah. it's gonna be tough. Yeah. It's gonna be tough. Yeah. They and and who knows how long your boy gonna be out. I don't know how you sprain both ankles in the game, but <laughs> he if there's one person to figure out how to do that, it's Carson Wentz. He'll figure yeah. out a way. Um, so 
It'll be interesting to see how they do uh, with uh, Jacob Beeson because I think Sam Ellinger is still hurt at the key. I think they have him on the IR. Oh, so. yeah. This would have been a time for him, too. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, L. Um, mm-hmm. Next game, the Atlanta Falcons, who are 0 2, are going to face the 0 2 Giants. Somebody got to win this game just because that's how the rules Somebody work unless win. they tie. Um, <laughs> but who you got winning that one? I think it's going to be a tie. Uh, it's going to be 13-30. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> it might be the look Yeah, exactly. Uh, just mark the tape. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one's actually pretty tough because they're both so bad. Yeah. Uh, and Atlanta got the break speed off of them uh, when they played the Eagles. Mm-hmm. Eagles are better than the Giants as well. I got, I got New York. They put up uh, thirty points on uh, that Washington defense. Mm-hmm. Uh, their defense, uh, Giants' defense, is trash as well. But for the fact that they put up thirty points on that uh, Washington defense is pretty intriguing. It's like, is their offense that good, or is Washington still trying to figure it out? It's like, hmm. But also Saquon being back, it is possible that it is. It can be that uh, pretty good. Uh, but also Washington's uh, it's questionable. It is questionable. For sure. I'm going Giants also only because I have no faith in the Falcons and until they win a game, I really don't have like, I don't think there's a reason to believe in them at all just because yes. I mean, that's real. They won a game. Um, yeah. Obviously, I thought they would be better um, with getting Arthur Smith in Tennessee, I, I thought that they would be better at least offensively, and yeah. it just hasn't seemed to click. I don't know if it's a Matt Ryan thing or what. The defense has not really been good for a long time, so that piece of it is not really, really surprising, but you would expect them to be more a prolific offensively because of what Arthur Smith was able to do in Tennessee, but maybe that was all Derrick Henry. I don't know. I guess we'll, you know, we'll see as time goes on, but yeah, I also yeah. have the Giants winning this one just because somebody has to. Um, Elena, Elena should have traded uh, Matt Ryan after the Super Bowl. After that. Uh, the 20 the three one? It's, yeah, it's, they should have just traded him after that. Uh, um, it's because it's, it's been downhill ever since. And yeah, if they would have traded him, they would have been able to get some pieces and they would have been on the come up by now. It's been a few years, so they would have been on the come up by now. Yeah, that you're right. It hasn't been the same. Literally, hasn't been the same. So, I want to roll him, and they pay him a good, nice little check of chip of change too. So that's unfortunate yeah. because they stuck with that. And mm-hmm. that's the thing too is that I don't know who gonna want to take on that contract if they're trying to trade him because yeah. they're not getting a lot of return on that investment. So they might be stuck, and he ain't gonna retire because why would he if he getting the check? Exactly. So yeah, they might be stuck for a little while. Um, next game. The one and one LA Chargers visit the one and one Kansas City Chiefs. This is gonna be a good game. This all I know is this better be on Paramount Plus. Like that's all I know. <laughs> when I turn, uh, when I bring up my app to watch some football, it, you better be able to see it. <laughs> yeah. It's on. It's on this, CBS, so you should be able. You should be able to get it. This um, is gonna be a great game. I think uh, Kansas City gonna win this one. Uh, but it is going to be a good one. It's going to be fun to watch as well. Yeah, I just can't see Kansas City losing two games in a row like that. Um, but who knows? Because Justin Herbert, you just never know. He can, and he can sling it. He can sling he it. He can sling it. And that secondary ain't great. That defense in general is not as good as people think. And um, I, I saw or I heard a stat. And I'm gonna butcher it, but I'll paraphrase it so it's not completely horrible or completely wrong. Uh, I want to say it was like since week 12 or 13 of last year, every single game, the Chiefs have not won a game by more than six points. Jeez. So all the games they've won, they have not won by more than a score. So everybody talks about how oh. they're just, you know. You know, the greatest show on turf type of thing and just putting up points all over the place. But all their games, the coach are not blowing anybody out. And yeah, so because of that, exactly. So because of that, if you play a team that's got that kind of firepower, who knows? You saw what Baltimore, who's 
offense essentially essentially anemic outside of the run game. They put up 36 points. So you got a team I, like – go ahead. And, I was about to say, after a uh, first drive pick six, too. Exactly. So they gave you seven points. Yeah. They gave they gifted them seven <laughs> points. So, yeah, man, it's, it, it's interesting. It's a crap shoot. That's going to be a fun game. Um I, that's a tough one to pick. It is. But I'm going to go with the Chiefs only because I just, like I said, two in a row. Uh, yeah. I have a hard time saying yeah. I lose two in a row. Um, but, boy, that's going to be a fun game. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, Houston's playing on Thursday. So there's an outside chance I might get that one locally. I'll see. We'll, <laughs> see. we'll see what happens. Uh, if not, I'll definitely be on red zone for sure because that's going to be that's gonna be yeah. a fun one. All right. Uh, next game. The one and one Cincinnati Bengals visit the one and one Pittsburgh Steelers. And I think uh, Pittsburgh will end up winning this one. I uh, Joe Burrow struggled last week. Uh, what was it like three consecutive picks or something? Three straight like passes with three straight interceptions. Yep. It's crazy. He was struggling, uh, and I think uh, Pittsburgh is smart enough to be able to deal with them. Uh, Cincinnati, like. Joe, uh, Joe Burrow is good. Uh, they just don't have the team built around them uh, just yet. It takes a few years to be able to get it done, uh, uh, especially if, you, if you're if you not building right. If you build right, it takes a few years because uh, you build uh, your line and everything else and get the right parts, uh, but they didn't do the line, so it will take a little bit longer now because they still have to protect him. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Pittsburgh got this one. So I don't know if- and it probably doesn't matter, but Big Ben might not be playing. He he he, uh, he tweaked his left lat muscle. Oh, they're um, gonna blow. They're gonna blow him out there. So I don't know who they're. I think they're. I think it's Mason Rudolph is their backup. Yeah, um, typically. So I don't know how that's gonna go. I don't know. That's tough. That's tough for me. Um, he says he's going to do uh, everything he can to try to play, but um, we'll see. Um, yeah. I, I think I think I'll be honest. I think it, I think it hinges on TJ Watt. If TJ Watt plays because you know he's got that groin, and they're not mm-hmm. sure he's going to be able to play. So if TJ he, Watt, I think he's out for like four to six weeks. Is he really? I thought so. I thought that's what I heard. I, I'm gonna have to recheck, but that's what I kept hearing. Is I, like I, he's. I, that uh, growing at four to six week type of uh, injury, I'm trying to find it now. Uh, yeah, that's uh, the type of boy. If he's on. A, if they put him on IR, that's different. Different. Um, on oh, twenty second time, my guys, I gotta look at this because if he is, that changes my pick. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was just the most recent one was uh, from a few days ago. Uh, they have him as questionable uh, with limited participant today. Uh, okay, so limited participant is good because that means he did something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, it, okay. All right. Oh, so, he, so that, yeah, so it's he, possible to help. Right. right, okay. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pick the Bengals. Uh, That's true. I'm going to pick the Bengals just because even if Big Ben plays, He's gonna be a shell of himself, um, mm-hmm. which he already is a shell of himself. So being a shell of a shell of yourself is gonna be tough. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I feel like this would be a good opportunity for a bounce back game for Joey B. Obviously, they have a great defense there in Pittsburgh, but if TJ can't play, or even if he's not 100, percent that certainly affects their ability to rush the quarterback. Um, I'm pretty sure even a 50 percent TJ Watt can probably still penetrate that offensive line because they're that bad, but. If 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 he's not 100, percent I don't know. It, it, this is a tough one. This is probably I'm I'm about 50 as 50 50 on this one as I was about the Falcons and Giants. Not because they're both bad, but just because I really don't have a read on on this game at all. So um, I'm gonna go with the Bengals just because we need to be different at some point. Yeah. Yeah, um, so right. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with the Bengals on this one, and I have no faith in that pick at all whatsoever. Um, Next game, the one and one Chicago Bears visiting the one and one Cleveland Browns. This will be uh, Justin Fields' first NFL start as Andy Dalton has already been rolled out with a knee bruise. Um, so 
having uh, a new quarterback starting, yeah. does that change your opinion on that one? Or you, how do you feel about how the game is going to shake out? Uh, so it doesn't really change my opinion uh, for this particular one, but it does make me happy that uh, he's playing, uh, distance playing. Uh, it sucks for uh, Andy because it's injury-wise. I was yeah. more or less thinking that it would be more performance uh, right. for him to get pulled and that injury uh, was sucks for that to happen. Uh, but I just think uh, Cleveland as an overall team, like I said, talent-wise, they're one of the more talented. It sucks uh, Landry is out. But they yeah. really hadn't been using Landry as much, uh, uh, especially with Odell uh, still being now. And they still mm-hmm. been able to uh, move the ball up and down, especially when you have top two running back. Yeah. In the league. Yeah. Be, yeah. So, yeah, top two running back in the league in Chubb. So, I think they'll, uh, they end up getting it done. Uh, this is a game that they have. It's one of those have two wins. Uh, especially since you dropped that first game uh, mm-hmm. so poorly, you have to win this one um, uh, going and get above 500. Yeah, I mean, I hope that he's able to do well, but this Browns defense is a bad defense to start out against because <laughs> that defense is legit. Um, you know, they they have not lived up to their potential yet, but they got a lot of time on that side of the ball between Miles Garrett, Jadavian Clowney, uh, and they have a good uh, back um, uh, back back four secondary solid as well. So, you know, it should be interesting to see how it goes. I hope he does do well, but I ain't picking him. I'm picking him Brown. I'm very <laughs> home, so uh, Brown should be able to take care of business there. Um, next game. We have the one and one Baltimore Ravens visiting the 0 and two. I'm sorry, 0 and two Detroit Lions. Um, that's easy for me picking Baltimore coming out the win against the Chiefs. Uh, Lions don't really know what they're doing. They had a good first half against Green Bay on Monday night, but Aaron Rodgers they couldn't they couldn't hold them long enough to to uh, give themselves a chance to win. So I got Baltimore in that one. How you feel about that? You know what we should do? We should do like uh, what um, Fox does for their uh, football. When it's an a easy game to pick, they put it towards the back and just uh, uh, call them really quickly. It's like, we all chose this one. We all chose this one. We all chose this uh, one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Don't even waste time. Is, like, yeah, it's yeah, like this yeah, is the yeah. way this Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore got this one. Uh, yeah. They come. They they're going to win it, but it's not like uh, I can't say it's a guarantee uh, because they're so hyped up uh, to be Kansas City. So you can have that letdown game and uh, trap game basically with Detroit. But I think uh, Boston, I think Harbaugh will have them right and win this one. Yeah, and they, I mean, it's Jericho, so it should be fine. Um, next game, interesting potentially. Uh, one and one New Orleans Saints visiting the one and one New England Patriots. And New Orleans to get their coaches back? That's a great question. Let's assume that they will have them back. It's been a week, so or it will be a week, so hopefully they will. There are this, the coaches have to be vaccinated. They're required to be vaccinated. So uh, mm-hmm. hopefully, assuming they're not having any symptoms, they'll be ready to go. Okay. Um, the hoodie and Peyton. I think uh, it's, it's the September. So I'll take New Orleans in this one. Yeah, they got a shot now. It's not. Okay. Um, this all hinges on Jameis, man, in my opinion. What kind of Jameis we going to get? We getting good Jameis or bad Jameis? And obviously, you know, like you talked about with the coaches, it was kind of hard for them to put something together last week. Um, and it, it looked like they didn't have no coaches on the field. I mean, on the yeah. sideline in that game. Um so hopefully, you know, they'll have an opportunity to bounce back in this game. Um, but I'm picking the Patriots because they're at home. And uh, I will say that – what am I thinking about? I may change my mind, but I'm not going to. Um, only because that Saints defense against a rookie quarterback could feast. Yeah. Um, but I just – I can't put it past Belichick to have some speed up and ready for uh, – Brave for him to be prepared for. And Mac ain't putting up monster numbers, but he's also not turning the ball over. And I think that's important too. Um, 
particularly looking at the other rookies and what they've been doing. He has not been doing that. He, like I said, he's not setting the world on fire, but he's also protecting the ball. And that's yeah. when, what you can ask for more than anything from a rookie quarterback. Um, yeah. So he'll be tested this week, but I'm going to go with the Patriots in this one um, with not very much confidence. But uh, again, Belichick at home, I'm 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 going to choose them unless it's like Kansas City or something like that. And even Kansas City is not a show Um Next game. The 2-0 Arizona Cardinals visiting the 0-2 Jacksonville Jaguars. We're going to just do like you just said, and <laughs> we both pick the Cardinals, and we'll go on to the next yeah. one. <laughs> uh, last early game, the 1-1 yeah. Washington football team going up against the 1-1 Buffalo Bills. This might be a go. This might this got potential. You think? It could be. Nah. It could be if, if the defense shows up, if, the, yeah. if Washington's defense show up, that's, could be that's what I'm saying. They, they gave up 30 to, to the uh, 32, uh, 30 points to the Giants. Like, we'll see. We'll see. Like, that's the only way that they can win games is with their defense. Right. So if their defense is, turns out to be like middle of the road to bad, like they're gonna be they're gonna struggle because last year their defense was really good, and that's what yeah. uh, kept them in games and won games for them. Absolutely, absolutely. And then this one be on the road. I'm, I'm assuming with all that, you're picking Bills to win this game. Yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I am too. Uh, you know, the only way that Washington will have a chance to win games on the road is with the defense. And so if their defense is not up to par, they don't have a shot. Um, I do think they – I mean, this is obviously going to be a big test for them. So we'll see what their defense is made of. Um, you know, if you know if it's a third game in the road their defense don't really show up, then we got to start asking questions. Um, primarily me because I drafted our defense and they're not doing shit for me. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm, I'm picking the Bills in that one as well. All right. Um, late games, starting off with this might be another one where we pick the same, I'm assuming. So uh only two Jets visiting uh two and oh David Broncos, even though Teddy Bridgewater will more than likely be out. I think he actually I mean, not Bridgewater. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about uh, Tyrod Taylor. I apologize. Not wrong black quarterback. Say, like, I didn't, wrong black uh, quarterback. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, Tay Two Gloves will be. He'll still be playing. So uh, this might be a quick one. I'm assuming Broncos for you on that one. As well. Yep. All right. Um, the no, two is out. One and one. Uh, Miami Dolphins visiting the two and zero oh, Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders. Yeah, Raiders. <laughs> Three and oh, man. And, uh, that's, and somebody, I, I think it was like a, a uh, our ranking. I forgot whose it was, like CBS or somebody put yeah. up the question mark of their car MVP. Because, I mean, the, the two games, basically the two, the two game winning uh, plays has been on his arm and it's oh. been deep balls. Like, Nice ones, it, and it was, and it's crazy. Is because it, the past few years, like folks have been like, "Why is he throwing it downfield? Everything is just so close. He got an arm, and now he's finally opened it back up." I, I think it was just injuries. He didn't want to hold it that long. Yeah. Um, now he letting that thing fly again. And my God, <laughs> you can tell. Uh, yeah, do, do your thing, young man. Do your thing. And it's wild because it looks like Denver's gonna be three and zero. And Vegas is gonna be three and zero, and the Chiefs gonna be trying them in the division after three yeah. weeks. That's yeah. that's crazy. It's that's crazy. crazy. So it's you know we, like it's all about the schedule. It is. It is. And if you can get on to a three and zero start, man, like yeah. that momentum, you never know how far mm-hmm. it can go. Now, I mean, we, we were talking about um, the wild card situation. That could be three teams, you know, coming out the West. Just saying, like you know, yeah. the potential but, is there. Like that whole division is uh, will be interesting, especially oh. with the you have Denver and um, you have and uh, Denver Vegas and, and, uh, and, Vegas the, and the Chargers. Chargers. Yeah, and then and the, the Chargers, Chargers. They're one and one. They're, I think they're a loser squeak, but it's still not to say that they won't still be able to get a wild card. Like, right, it's, it's gonna be crazy. It's interesting, man. Everybody's yeah. talking about the AFC West, but that AFC West looking all right. I mean, yeah, yeah. Just saying, yeah, Denver's better than what I thought. Denver's yeah. much better than what I thought. They need they need a consistent quarterback and and uh, you know I like Locke but he wasn't consistent enough and yeah. you get a guy like 
Tay Two Gloves, who's I mean, he's not gonna light the numbers up, but he's gonna be consistent. And you know what you get yeah. from him. And he's been exactly. playing well. So damn, three and yeah. Broncos, boy. Easy. Crazy. All right. Um we also have the one and one Seattle Seahawks visiting the 0 and two Minnesota Vikings. No, because like Minnesota should have beat uh, the Cardinals last week, but they still struggling with the kicker. Seattle should have won last week, but they didn't. Right. They don't know how to close out. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Minnesota. I think uh, Minnesota's gonna uh, protect their home, get the uh, horn going, and everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm picking them too. Um, and it's I mean, with both those teams. If they both gonna be one and two, they gotta look in the, each other in the eye because Seattle mm-hmm. being one and two in the three weeks, that's like mm. yeah, and you that's can't fall behind in that division. So that's all. gonna be an uphill battle. So mm-hmm. yeah, just for the same reason you mentioned for me, uh seeing that Minnesota hung with the they should have won, they should have beat Arizona last week. Yeah. Um, I think right now, at least right now, Arizona is the better team than Seattle right now. Um, at least with their ability to close and their ability to just, just kind of stay in games. Um, but they – they, if I remember correctly, was it this week or last week? I think it was this week where they kind of had the game in hand and they kind of let um, – I think it was – maybe it was last week. It was one week they were up and they let the other two come back and Ooh. they almost uh, – Cardinals. I know it they was, were both their No, games. it was uh, both. It was, it was both? both of them, I think. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think it's both games because okay. yeah, they were up on um, they were up on Minnesota pretty good, and then Minnesota okay. had that That's chance right at the end. But okay. Yeah, I think it was both games. Okay, okay. So yeah, they gotta get that fixed. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, they uh, I because Minnesota almost beat them, and they should have beat them. Uh, I'm gonna have them beating the, the Seahawks at home as well. Um, this one, okay. Here we go. Here we go. 2-0 Tampa Bay visiting 2-0 LA Rams. This one's a tough one. That's a tough one. I'll let you go first. You go first. All right. I'm picking the Rams on this one. Um, the Bucks are not going undefeated. Uh, so there's that. And I feel like their defense is – Suspect, at least from the secondary perspective. Obviously, front center is pretty unlocked. They got some injuries in their secondary, and I think McVay can find a way to kind of, you know, take advantage of those things. He has a quarterback that he feels confident can exploit those matchups, uh, which he might not have had before. And so I think that coupled with uh, the Rams, hopefully being able to let their defense at least make some kind of uh, discomfort, discomfort from Tom Brady's perspective, Tom Brady and the Bucs have a good offensive line, but Aaron Donald is Aaron Donald. And if there is a way for him to kind of create pressure to move Tom off his spot, any opportunity for Jalen to make a pick is going to be there. And if it's there, he's going to take it. And so I think it's going to be a toss up, but it's going to be a great game and I can't wait to watch. Um, but with the Rams being at home uh, and then the Bucs having to kind of travel across country, uh, I'm going to give this one to the Rams as well. Uh, I was wrong uh, that uh, Arizona had beat the brakes off of Tennessee. That first game was like 25 Okay, points, so. I couldn't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they took gotcha. it to them on that one. So, yeah, gotcha. it was last week that they uh, was just the one. one. Uh, so, this was a tough one. I'm going to go I'm going to go Tampa uh, just to be different with this one. I do like uh, the Rams to be able to win it, but uh, these are, I feel like these are basically the two top teams uh, in the conference. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, but part of the reason why I think that Tampa could end up losing this is uh, because they could be looking forward to next week's game. And then plus the Rams is a really good team and you, you have to focus on them. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with Tampa. I'm not going to, I don't want to say too much because I end up talking myself Talk out, yourself of out of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, That's I'm what I'm like, let me pick. Yeah, I'm going I'm to um, stick with Tampa in this one. Listen, you can't go wrong with that pick, right? Yeah. I mean, it's Tampa. Um, yeah. Sunday night game, 1-1 one one Green Bay visiting the 2-0 and o San Francisco 49ers. I got Packers in this one. I, I still don't trust uh, the 49ers. 
uh, folks have them hyped up uh, high in the power rankings. They do. I, I trust them. I just don't trust them. I don't. I just don't trust them. <laughs> it will. I might not trust them until like week seven. They're like uh, fourteen and three. It's like, okay, okay, now I can start picking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's, I'm going to the uh, Packers with this one. Yeah, I don't see what people see in the Niners. I'm not saying they're bad, but like you said, I've seen them rank really high. I'm just like, yeah, why? I mean, I, I get like Shanahan's great and, mm-hmm. you know, he can, you and I can run for them and probably get Aaron in yards <laughs> game just because of how his <laughs> team is. Um, yeah. But, you know, and, and, you know, Green Bay's defense is suspect. Oh, and yes. so there is a potential there for them to be able to run on them. Um, mm-hmm. So that 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 potential always looms. But I feel like that game that Green Bay lost to New Orleans just kind of put them on a mission. And I feel like they're going to have something to prove with Sunday night against the Niners because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are probably going to pick the Niners. But, man, I, it's Aaron Rodgers going back to California where he's from. Like, I, I just feel like, they warm weather will get him right, and I feel like he's going to have a little boy ready to play. And so I'm going with the Packers in that one as well. Um, I think it may be a close game. Maybe it just depends on yeah. how their defense responds to the run game. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I'm trusting Aaron Rodgers over Jimmy Garoppolo. So um, I'm picking the, Pan- uh, the Packers in that one as well. Money that game, we could do the we could do the Fox thing, but I kind of want to talk about this. <laughs> did you watch um did you watch the game last the money that game? The, 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 okay. I was gonna yeah. ask you. I did well not the not the ESPN. Uh I watched uh, ESPN too with uh That's Pilgrim. what I was gonna ask you. That's okay, that's I what I was gonna ask one. you if you had an opportunity to catch them because I, I'd seen a lot of folks talking about that one after the first money in that game. I didn't watch the first money in that game. Mm-hmm. Um, so this one I was like, I'm gonna watch it, but I want to watch the Payton Eli version of it. And man, listen. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know, they found something. They found something, man. And I know they found something because I've seen the NFL share their stuff more than I've seen ESPN share it. So if NFL yeah. is backing it like that, <laughs> they know they got something there. Yeah. So yeah, I, I really liked it, and um, I'm kind of talking about how I'm gonna watch this one because I don't know if I want to hear them while the Cowboys are playing. <laughs> like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, if it's anybody yeah. else, I'm like, cool. But <laughs> I don't know if I want to hear that. Well, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, it um, is. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I think any other any other game, but like, yeah, easy. That's an easy decision. Yeah. But this game, I kind of want to hear <laughs> Lewis Riddick. I kind of want to hear like. So mm-hmm. not saying that they're not good at the job because they they're fantastic at it, but yeah. man, I don't, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. <laughs> um, so Monday night, I make it official. Uh, we have the yeah. Philadelphia Eagles who are one and one visiting the one one Dallas Cowboys. Um, do I have to ask who you picking this one? No, uh, of course taking the boys. Uh, so I want to apologize to the boys defense. I mean, I'm not saying like they're good or anything, but they're, they're definitely trash. not as bad. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which is yeah. a huge step up. <laughs> exactly. It's uh it seems like they're bend but don't break. Uh, with these turnovers. They I think they're six games now, seven? About seven games now. It's been a three with the turnover. Yeah, so two this so I think it's eight now. Uh eight games straight with a turnover in a game. Like it went from years of just we no. might have a turnover in eight total games if we're lucky to yeah. now it's uh, getting consistent. And it's not just like one turnover either, like that lucky bounce or knockout to get the phone. Like it's like two, three, uh, four turnovers uh, in these games. So it's crazy. So I think I think they're going to end up getting another uh, couple of turnovers. Uh, so, yeah, I think Dallas in this one. And they got robbed out of a turnover last week. I was watching the game again, the Chargers game, mm-hmm. and Jay Ron Curse had a pick where he tipped the ball up. I think uh, Herbert was throwing it to Keenan Allen or Mike Lewis, one of the two. And mm-hmm. he kind of was behind him and jumped it from behind, popped the ball up, and it picked it off. And they called it a PI. But the, looking at it again, it was like they were kind of going back and forth. And they're, the 
he kind of had him on his waist, but he wasn't mm-hmm. pulling on his waist. He had his hand on his waist. So he had his hand on his waist and he kind of crossed it. And they were saying that he got there early, but I didn't see that. And I don't know. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> everybody's talking about how much the Cowboys benefited from calls, and they did. But the Chargers got some calls too. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Both was, teams had a bunch of penalties. So, yeah, that block, that run into the kicker, we talked about it in the reaction, but that was not, yeah. that was a horrible <laughs> call. I watched, it I watched the game thing. again. The dude, the Charger pull, was pulling Kamara down, yeah. and like it felt that's how he leaned into the kicker. But there were several calls that, that were both yeah. just. I think we can all agree that was just a horrible outing by the officiating crew that game. Yeah. Um, yeah. So hoping for for more consistent officiating in this game. Um, I have the Cowboys as well. Uh, I think it's going to be a close game. Um, they lost Brandon Graham. He's on IR. I think he ripped his Achilles. So mm. that's one that's, pass yeah, rusher there. That's, that. huge, that's huge yeah. for us. Um, it'll be interesting to see how we do because I just saw that um, – we're down Dorrance Armstrong and another guy. And two the more DNs. The line, so it's like, make, uh, a linebacker for uh, COVID. Uh, oh, they, just put, they just put Keanu Neal on, on yeah. you know, for COVID. So Keanu Neal's on for COVID. With this being a Monday night game, hopefully, you know, there is there is some time to get him back in there. Um, yeah. But we – Dorrance Armstrong, and I forget who the other guy, we lost two DNs that's not – that are not expected to play. So we already have both of our DNs. Well, I think Brandon Gregory's back. I believe he's off the COVID list. Um, yeah. But um, DeMarcus Lawrence is obviously still on IR with the broken foot. And now we have Dorrance Armstrong. And I can't – I don't want to blame out his name. But two more DNs are now – Ruled pretty much doubtful for the game. So we're gonna I'm have Michael Parsons not saying, on one hand. I'm it not was any other. I see. Like, I saw Dorrance it on Armstrong. the fan. Uh, hold on, give me a second. I, say, I see Doris Armstrong as doubtful, and I see Neil as out uh, as of today. Yesterday will be uh, Ty. He got Donovan, and then Amari. They're all questionable. Yeah, I make that. I could have swore I saw two DNs. Yeah. yeah. Um, but either way, uh, like, uh, it might be Carlos Watkins. It is Carlos Watkins. About. Okay. It is Carlos Watkins. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay. Yeah, knee sprain. Okay. Yes. That. Yes. That's exactly what it was. So okay. because they have to, they have to call <laughs> Justin Hamilton up off the practice squad because we're running out of DNs. So yeah, they have. It, it looks like the way it'll be this week will be. Um, Randy Gregory on one end and Michael Parsons again playing DN, which no complaints here. Um, but the Philly offensive line is better than they have been in the past year, so I should be interested to see how that goes. Um, and they're healthy right now. And usually they end up having issues with their health throughout the, the season. They're always got offensive linemen out. But we got them early in week three, so their guys are healthy. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes out. Um, but I got the Cowboys. And we will also have a reaction video for that regardless of the result. Hopefully, we'll have a lot of positive things to talk about in that game and not yeah. too many negatives. Um, but, yeah, I got the uh, Cowboys now as well. So, that's it for us, guys. Um, as always, appreciate you guys watching. And like we said in every video, please like, share, and subscribe to go to some sports, to go to some geek, to play the ambition, all the above. Uh, we appreciate you guys. 